been doing so much work and um, differently able ki mai baat kariye because that's your forte that's um, you know uh, something that you specialize in and you do motivational speaking in so many places so how did you come up about this idea of getting out there making different programs and you've been working on inclusivity so what all programs have you worked on and what motivated you to do this I think being a woman with disability myself and growing up in a household that is agricultural and mm-hmm. having army background all of these things it to inspired me to believe that I do have power I mm. do have agency mm. and if I want to just live with the idea that I'm a disabled woman sitting on the couch come give me some good aid give me charity give me pity yeah. it's very doable it's very easy mm. and a lot of able bodied people do that of course they do age, yes they do that and yes. um, i think that was not a life of dignity for me so mm. i had to explore okay, what are my gifts and how can i use them to make this world a better place especially when i saw okay my family is putting a lot of effort to empower me so what was my way of giving back to them we can never give back to our parents of i mean course. we can never give back to our family because they invest a part of them that is never you know retrievable mm. so you give back to the society you give back to absolutely. people absolutely So my inspiration came from my family's empathy towards me, and then slowly I was like, hey, "Let's not be too cliched." Mm. Um, initially, I did dive into motivational speaking, mm-hmm. but that is also, you know, godifying a person with disability and making them feel that just you are God sent, you are mm. free of any sin. That is not true. Mm. I can name a list of people who are pretty much mafia and they have a disability. <laughs> wow. and that is good and bad mm. because there's a mm. spectrum of personalities that people with disabilities can have so for me to dive into these different projects was very exciting mm. for me like you know a fashion or makeup or mm. i recently did a dance video uh, with Amazing. my friend jillian and being swirled around in my wheelchair i never thought i could do that but ah. that's happening and and then that did some acting did a comedy film on disability that is amazing and slowly you realize it's not just body impairment there are other disabilities like i think women are disabled on a daily basis on a daily basis so one thing or the other exactly. yes exactly and our and our identity is just about their culture about where they live in in terms of region mm. so a lot of my projects had nothing to do with like body impairment but disabilities in attitudes in general for example my project on menstrual health care the delivery of uh, menstrual products across pakistan right. that is solely for women who face barriers and disabilities in terms of health care oh. so if that is not a disability what else could it be exactly